Welcome to my first tutorial. I'm Clive McKenzie. Basically, we're going to go back to basics using grids and lines. Everything has a pattern or is governed by numbers and lines. So I just use this as a basic, easy outline so you can basically understand things and see for yourself. Obviously, when executing any type of move, you have to have the center of gravity. Basically, be upright and balanced. Now let's use some basic tips and techniques using the camera as your angle. As you see by the grid, when I execute a punch, it is near the center. At the side where the line is, that's the area that I don't go outside of. I keep everything close, tight and neat. Obviously your target is always moving, but regardless, I always keep the center and my target in focus and in line. Basically as always with your opponent you just hit them in the shortest possible time. But saying that always maintain a good center gravity and balance. It also helps for enhancing power. Sometimes I punch off center. There's various reasons for this. Sometimes to curve round or to get a basic logical idea of your opponent of where they are and what target you're going to hit. It's all basic. For instance, that is a focus that I had in my mind where I'm going to punch. So I've, it's all visual as well. This circle shows me the area from which I work from. I don't go outside that circle when using the arms and hands for blocking techniques. If you go too wide, then you leave yourself wide open to be hit. And of course, everything happens really fast. Basically, when you're standing squared off like this, this is the area that gets hit. You leave yourself wide open. So I tend to turn sideways in anything I do to limit that area of target of being hit. Look at it now. Now look where it it's sideways. What you're doing, you're limiting the field of view and the field of area where your opponent can strike at any given time. Obviously, all this is happening in a short space of time and movement. When executing any type of moves using the upper area of the arms, I always assimilate from a target, from that line, that grid. As you see here, where I bring my other arm in line with the center and the cross, or nearest that I can get it when executing moves or thinking about what I'm doing. Here is a punch again, sideways, with all my body turned away, and I'm upright to the target. Sometimes I lean out or reach. It's like fencing. You can stand at center, or reach and bend out to execute various moves. There's a lot of bending and balance and shiftment of weight when executing certain moves. We're working with the upper area because I haven't got much area to show the legs. We'll do that in another video. As you see, no matter what I do, I try and keep in focus and in mind my level center of gravity and the area that I'm punching. Getting a basic idea of your balance and your target gives you more of an overhaul view of what you're trying to achieve. Look out for the next video coming shortly. Thank you.
Hey, Clive, so you want to fight me? Aha! <laughs> 